Hello friends, and not yet friends, welcome back to Mary's Test Kitchen, where we make bomb vegan food, and this vegan fried chicken is no exception. In fact, it might be the very best vegan fried chicken ever. With perfectly seasoned, deep fried, or oven fried crunchy goodness on the outside, and juicy vegan meat on the inside, this is one recipe you're gonna want on repeat. Speaking of repeat, thanks to Thrive Market for once again being a fantastic sponsor and sending me the best products to make this holy grail gluten-free recipe. Thrive Market is making healthy living easy, affordable, and accessible through their easy-to-use website where American shoppers can find the top organic and premium vegan products at wholesale prices 25 to 50% less than regular retail, delivered straight to your door, saving you time and money. Check the offer in the description to get a free 30-day trial membership to see how the savings can work for you. Plus, get 25% off your first order on top of their already great prices and free shipping. To make this vegan chicken recipe work for you and become the best vegan fried chicken you've ever had, you'll need some medium firm or traditional tofu. This is the secret to creating the almost creepy chicken-like texture part of it. The other part is to freeze it, not just once, but twice. Medium firm or traditional style tofu produces a tender texture without that grainy feeling. Freezing and thawing a second time makes the tofu more sturdy so you can press the water out without the whole thing disintegrating. I'm using a tofu making mold to squeeze out as much water as possible while keeping it as intact as possible. You can use a tofu press if you have one, but with care, you can do this between two cutting boards. And get the last of it with clean kitchen towels. This stuff is delicate, so be gentle. Pull the layers apart and let the natural breaks form to create little cutlets or nuggets. Is your mind blown or is your mind blown? You've got to share this technique everywhere. Pin this video, tweet it, share it on your page, your Facebook groups, Reddit, or wherever you hang out online. Even if you think you don't like tofu, this changes everything. These layers hide spaces inside, so we can add some amazing flavors that will sink deep inside and obliterate any trace of beaniness. Eventually, you'll have around 8 large chunks, give or take, but you'll also have some bitsies. Don't worry, we won't waste anything. Just let that sit on a clean, lint-free cloth or paper towels while we get our super crispy, crunchy breading ingredients ready. We'll do a 3-step dredge, starting with a cup of gluten-free flour. You'll find a huge selection of gluten-free flours on Thrive Market, just use the gluten-free button to filter easily and away you go. I really like Bob's Red Mill 1 to 1 gluten-free baking flour for this recipe. It'll give us the perfect balance between crispy and crunchy without adding any weird flavors that some GF flours have. We'll season the flour with half a teaspoon of white pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. And last, but most definitely not least, nutritional yeast, aka nooch, aka manna from heaven that makes everything taste delicious. Mix it up and set it aside. The second part of the dredge is a vegan egg coating. I'm using Follow Your Heart's vegan egg mix. Just mix it with water, two tablespoons of vegan egg powder, and a half cup of ice cold water at first. Mix it until there are no lumps. We want this vegan egg wash to be a little bit thinner, so add a quarter cup more water. Now we're ready to start transforming our tofu. With the cup of double strength vegan chicken style broth, use any kind you like, but make it with double the amount of paste or powder normally called for. Dump the tofu in and press it so it soaks up the broth. 
Drain away any excess. Now we're ready to dredge. First, the seasoned flour. Be gentle and cradle that tofu like a baby, like a butterfly baby. Shake the excess flour off and set the pieces on a baking sheet or plate. With the bitsies, just dump them in the flour too. Squeeze them together into bigger clumps. When we're finished the first step, we'll have all this extra seasoned flour. Only, it's not extra! We'll just add a cup of organic sprouted brown rice crisps, relieve some tension, and let that brown rice know who's boss. Just break down some of it, but chill, don't go overboard. This will take the crunch level of our vegan fried chicken to new heights. Give the vegan egg a quick mix, and then we're ready to dip. Dunk and let the excess drip off. Then into the seasoned flour and rice crisps. Gently cover them. And then place them back on your baking sheet. Things might get messy, but you will overcome. Life lessons. Before long, you'll have a tray full, ready to be deep fried to golden perfection. I'm using a wok because I love it, but any sturdy pot with a good thick bottom for even heat distribution should work. Gently lower your breaded tofu in, one piece at a time, careful not to splash yourself. Don't crowd the pieces, but work in batches so the oil temperature doesn't drop too much. Occasionally, turn them as they cook. It'll take five minutes for these to turn golden brown and crispy crunchy. Then take them out and drain on paper towels or a wire rack. Then the next batch goes in. But let's say for some reason you just don't want to deep fry. All you need to do is drizzle or spray a bit of oil onto your breaded tofu and pop them into a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes, flipping once at the halfway mark. I'll show you how those turn out at the end of this video. And now you have beautiful vegan fried chicken that is crunchy on the outside, juicy on the inside, and super flavorful. It'll smell so good, you'll want to dig in right away, but let it rest for at least five minutes. At least. Eat them as is or with some sauce. I'm gonna make one I'm currently in love with and is full of healthy spices and fermented ingredients. Sauerkraut. Plus gochugaru, aka Korean red pepper flakes. Gochujang, aka Korean red pepper paste, isn't gluten-free, so if you're avoiding gluten, just use gluten-free sriracha, or you can even use ketchup or a combination. Soy sauce or tamari. Brown sugar. And some liquid from the sauerkraut to help everything blend. Lastly, organic garlic powder. This sauce is so good! Garlicky, savory, a little sweet, and more than a little spicy which made me want a cooling yogurt dip. By the way, you can make your own vegan yogurt from scratch with this vegan yogurt starter, and I am, but that will take a few more days, so in the meantime, we can make a sort of instant yogurt with silken tofu and sauerkraut again. The lactic acid helps to give a yogurty flavor instantly. Crunchy, juicy vegan fried chicken, spicy sauce, and cooling yogurty dip. There are few things more perfect. The juicy interior holds heat and layers, chickeny layers. The more intact the tofu was going in, the more meat like the result will be. 
The ones that were crumbly and piecey going in will have more starch in between, giving you a texture that is more like chicken balls than chicken tenders, but it's all delicious. But the oven fried version? Pretty darn good in its own right too. The exterior is super crunchy as well. The inside is juicy. It just doesn't have that distinctly amazing deep fried flavor. Better for weeknights anyways, as the cleanup is much easier and quicker. So which will you choose? Oven fried or deep fried? Plain or sauced? Either way, make this and your life will be changed for the better. You know what else will change your life for the better? Clicking the link below for 25% off your first purchase of premium healthy groceries from Thrive Market with a 30-day free trial membership and free shipping. Thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video, helping me create mind-blowing vegan recipes for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and share it everywhere. It's just so good. You have to make this and share it with your friends and family and let them taste how amazing vegan food can be. Plus, take pics and tag me on Instagram. It thrills me to see you make my recipes. What else would you like me to veganize? Let me know in the comments below. Bye for now.